Hi, this is Melinda and in this video I'm going to show you a straightforward way to get an indication of how competitive your selected keywords are. So in the Google keyword research video, we narrowed down two words from that I've chosen. One was ad blog, which had a local monthly search volume of 2,400, so reasonably high. And the other phrase was a bit longer, it was ad blog to website and it had a search of 170 per month. Um, so we'll just get an indication of how competitive each of those words are. What you need to do is type all in title, so A-L-L-I-N-T-I-T-L-E, and then do a colon and put your search word after that. So we're going to go all in title ad blog. Um, the first results that come up, up here you can see 213,000 results. Um, so that means ad blog is in the title of 213,000 websites and because including keywords in a page title is really important in terms of optimization, um, the number of websites that are using that phrase in their main page title is an indication of how competitive the word is. But what we're going to do, because we're targeting Australia, we're going to go down here and click pages from Australia. So 705, which is not too bad, all things considered, but if we put in our other word, which was ad blog to website, which had a much lower search volume, but we can see it's only in 82 other websites in the title. Um, so it's far less competitive, which means it's more likely that our blog will be able to rank on those words. And the good news is there we are at the top. Um, that's our page on our website in pages from Australia. Um, another thing to point out in the keyword research, I mentioned match types. So this is actually going on broad match, add blog to website. If we want to find out how many page titles the specific phrase add blog to website is in, I can put in the phrase match just for the broad match because you can see here add blog to website is in our page title but it's got some words in between so it matches on a broad match but not a phrase. Um, so just put in those little inverted comma marks to get the phrase match and then it's going to be hopefully more than likely even lower than 82 that that exact phrase is in. Um, and it's possible that our website won't come up because we haven't used that phrase exactly. Um, and there you go. So all in title on the phrase match is not in any website. So if we had put that in and someone searched for it, we would come up. Let's try just as a variation add blog website and see how many. That's not in any websites either. So it's a good thing. It depends, you know, what your topic is and what you're actually writing about. But it's good, like I mentioned, to be aware of the difference between broad match, which is it also includes similar phrases and relevant variations versus phrase match, which includes all the words in that order. Um, thanks. So yeah, all in title, good way to get an indication of how competitive a keyword is. It's not the only way and it's not the most advanced ways, but in terms of using Google and just getting a quick indication to help you decide which word to optimise on your blog article, it's a great place to start.